I'm Shahir Masood, and today I'm grilling something you might not expect, restaurant quality pizza. Now I'm using Butterball's Easy Fresh boneless turkey breast, and I'm cooking it using a Broil King pellet grill. There are three tips to a great pizza on a grill, and it all starts with fresh ingredients, the use of a pizza stone, and a super high temperature. We're setting our grill to 600 degrees. Great pizza starts with great turkey. So I pre-cooked my turkey breast on the grill until I got a 165 internal temperature. This is also great use for any leftover turkey you might have and you can shred it on top of your pizza. We wanna let our turkey rest and then we're gonna slice it nice and thin so it makes for an ideal pizza top. A durable pizza stone is a great tool because it's the closest thing you can get to a professional grade pizza oven right at home and on your grill. So preheat the stone as you preheat the grill. I've rolled out my homemade dough, check out the recipe online, or use the store-bought dough, no problem. And then we're gonna start building our pizza. So it starts with a little drizzle of good quality olive oil, little bit of Parmigiano-Reggiano right on the bottom, kind of creates a nice cheesy base. I think next we're gonna do a little bit of fresh tomato, a few dates for that sweetness. And then we can shingle on those beautiful pieces of the turkey breast. And then to top it off, we're gonna put a little bit of the blue cheese, then a little bit of the walnut to give us some crunch, some textural contrast. Top with a little bit of honey to play off that blue cheese. And then we're gonna head to the grill with the pizza and the Brussels sprout. You can see how hot the pizza stone and my griddle are. So I've got an exact fit cast iron griddle. It's like a cast iron pan for your barbecue. And I'm actually gonna finish the Brussels sprouts and a little bit of butter here to get some extra color and then top it onto the pizza. The stone is super hot, it's been preheated up to 600 so I can slide this perfect little parchment circle. Then we close it up. And that is how you make a perfect pizza on your Burrow King Grill. Now check out all our recipes on butterball.ca.